Hi guys, welcome back. Part three. I'm sorry this taking this long, but uh, I'm not gonna uh, let it go. At least go to 15 minutes this time, and I'll just go as fast as I can. Um, but in the meantime, I also found this article. It was just very interesting. Uh, titled "In Game Gold Investors Will Be Destroyed," and this article is by a gold investor themselves. Uh, that they explained that definitely uh, that gold is not the the way to go or anything um, because they even say at the end game the gold investors will be throwing their gold into the streets willingly or bury it in the ground forever um, and as they say that physical gold will be useless um, the black market barter market will die in the end game as well and uh, and he says that he will prove it so I will leave a link to this article and says that gold sales are and will in increasingly will be taxed because you always be taxed for your gold and gold will only uh, keep up with inflation due to its role as a regular regulator of real interest rates and so on and there's a link that you click on and then any tax paid on gold is a loss of purchasing power to the gold investor so this is a very interesting article I'm going to leave a link to uh, what I was uh, talking about uh, earlier was the um, the survival manual and um, after I was waiting for the others to process uh, I was looking through the rest of this and isn't this a nice comfortable tent you know maybe the simple life is better I don't know <laughs> you know because you still have your nice bed and a and a nice chair if you have a nice lounge chair and you know some place to like to keep your clothes or your valuables and and here's your like your um your heating uh, stove here for like for cooking or heating or whatever you know that's the life huh? I'm just kidding uh, but uh, no I'm not really kidding I mean and I mean to me it's uh, t for, for me though it's, it's, it's the simple life is for me though uh, it might be different for um, somebody else so I'm not I'm not speaking for somebody else uh, yeah it uh, goes on and tells about precious metals but like I said that's really not the way to go uh, but the most important thing is um, being with family and friends through these trying times like this and it and it tells they tell here um, in this manual uh, how you can cut back on expenses um, mainly by you know moving in with families families moving in with families and uh, working together uh, doing you know odd jobs um, you know growing your garden um, you know being together uh, having each other grow a garden help to t tend the garden and so on and so forth and gathering water uh, what, what all you need uh, to um, feed your family and you know and things to be prepared to protect your family and uh, and to survive basically and find you know, little simple comforts to um, keep you know one comfortable uh, the, during the time you know of an ep economic collapse and I think that the main important thing is love um, love love is God intended for us to love one another and I think we've all gotten away from that and we need to learn to love again see in, the, in this nice family all together like that I think that's really neat uh, and then they get into uh, well they're getting it uh, they're talking about gasoline rationing and if there ever is going to be a time where you won't be able to buy gasoline um, then it goes further into a uh, discussion on uh, w what alternative uh, transportation you can use and I mentioned that earlier I think in um, I think it was part one I mentioned and uh, canning do a lot of canning 
and they suggest to uh, buy extra canning lids because the old ones rust so you might want to get an ample supply of those and um, and the kinds of foods um, there's a list here uh, on what uh, types of a supply list on what kind of uh, food items to stock up on the best food items to stock up on and and you want to remember to get your your uh, vegetable seeds and and trees um, by uh, seeds of, of trees you know like I bought some uh, pecan um, seeds to, to grow pecans and uh, and walnuts and things like that and you and you can do that and then if you have extra you know you can always give to a friend or a neighbor or a family member you know um, survival supplies uh, things of that sort dry rice and beans make an excellent long uh, term storage survival food uh, water heat heat is most important and this gives you an idea um, of what um, what to do um, and what to create you can also make uh, stoves uh, very cheap you know by using a barrel drum like this and just a few hardware like this uh, tools you'll, you'll need a lot of hand tools because when um, like in, a, in case you know you lose electricity you'll need like a, a lot of hand tools just in case they mentioned about horses horses are a good valuable uh, farm tool plus uh, they pull heavy loads and they're good for transportation as well so we're getting to alternative transportation here yeah I'm being realistic here and same with with bicycles bicycles make good transportation um, I'm not sure about motorcycles but because you need gas for those and you have like little uh, carts you put in behind your bicycle that sort of thing um, you know just be creative on the, you know your transportation choices uh, even wagons uh, let's see let's talk about vegetable gardens storing winter squash is the best because it's known to store long term uh, see there's a lot here uh, a lot here about vegetable gardening uh, what to do about pests to get rid of pests you want to uh, keep down pests in uh, from your garden uh, more on gardening how to plant potatoes you can plant potatoes almost anywhere even in old used tires you can plant them yeah so don't get rid of anything uh, we're living in a time we can't waste anything anymore you guys so if you think you can use something you know keep it and you know use it for your garden or whatever just be creative uh, I try to be creative because I'm a graphic designer I mean I'm always have to you know think creative all the time so yeah and then here's your buckets grow stuff in buckets you can even make a garbage can root cellar uh, by with metal uh, garbage cans and this tells you how to do it to it shows a, a picture here and raising animals like chickens like I mentioned before goats uh, you can get uh, a lot of nutritional value from goat's milk uh, work horses and it says here if oil becomes unaffordable then we may have to learn to live a lot like the Amish and that could be a reality protection I'm talking about you know having weapons for protection I uh, said that desperate people do desperate things so you have to be aware of that too I personally don't like guns but you know sometimes you have to do things you don't like to do and uh, also shows here that um, though they use firearms in hunting uh, if you have to hunt for food uh, living in a survival community uh, this is a watch out and a talk they talk about guard dogs about geese and guinea fowl which are 
good alarm animals to keep you uh, alert when um, something is near. And yeah, you know, lots of interesting survival uh, information. And also talks about what happened in Zimbabwe, in the country of Zimbabwe. See, look at all this money that this man has to carry to market just to be and buy a loaf of bread. Uh, huge amounts of money they had to use. And it could happen here, guys. So if it's a reality to have it in Zimbabwe, it can happen here. So I'll just leave a link to that. I just want to get back here. Because I just want to mention that, uh, well, I want you to listen to this. If you have some time, listen to this from Hell of a Deal. He had an, uh, an issue of great importance that was bearing on his conscience. And it was in regards to the nuclear fallout in Fukushima. Uh, how they are lying to us and what we have to look forward to in the future about nuclear fallout. Here's another one uh, by Spaceman, uh, 131326, and uh, he has some interesting things to say about um, what we have to face about nuclear war and what is actually going on now that um, they are uh, declaring war against us, the world population. Um, the Show Me Baby has an interesting video here on uh, White House now controls the drones. Yes, we're, they're definitely making war on us. Right now the, uh, um, um, excuse me, the Obama administration and uh, he also has some interesting links here you should check out that um, Obama, who is Barry Satoro, is an illegal Kenyan and it says here the Occidental College transcripts reveals that Obama claimed foreign uh, citizenship to get a scholarship. Wouldn't that make you angry? And, and, and us American citizens, the kids here in America uh, some want to, to, go, to go to college and can't. And you got a criminal like that that can pull the strings. And the U.S. lets China bypass Wall Street for treasury orders. And, you know, all, if, you know, any of all this, you know, would make one really angry. It upsets me very much. Um, I don't know. What about you? Um, the aftermath in uh, Chicago, uh, the there was chaos in Chicago during the NATO summit. Uh, naturally, it'll happen. You know, you got your protesters, your anti-NATO protesters, and the police clash. I mean, is it really a solution to all this problem? Uh, actually, hit them in their pocketbook is the best. You know, uh, put these criminals at a standstill. I mean, that's why, why the economic uh, crash is coming, because it's going to affect everybody. Yeah, I'm running out of time very quick. So, um, I found this website called uh, Espera, and uh, remember that the big... Uh, explosion at Mount Etna in Italy. Uh, well, this was man-made here. So, yeah, the guys who's got the toys uh, wants to play God. And I'm going to leave a link to this and you all can look around um, at this. And this was interesting. This is a sperm whale listening to the deep ocean uh, environment. So actually they have the technology to do anything they want. And a little surprise. Okay, Kansas couple is, captures a tornado in their wedding um, photo. And this is a video. So I don't have time. I'll leave links to everything. And y'all take care of you guys. Jesus loves you. So do I. Until next time. Bye bye now.